Fox 10 Arizona Morning is back. Okay, I'm having my nutrition level checked in my body right now as so a matter green. of fact. That's, uh, that's good. Okay. It's pretty cool. We're going to show you exactly what Rick is doing and what exactly second, it okay. means in a second. We've got to do the setup. Because somebody wrote it and they want to make sure it yeah, gets well, on the air. People need to know the background of this because <laughs> okay. it really is potentially dangerous. We've seen so many recent stories about monster energy drinks, five hour energy shots being related to several deaths. It's that time of the year right. when we're all rushing from place to place. We're tired. We need that extra energy to get the holiday errands done. But Dr. Sean Talbot uh, is uh, here to talk about energy drinks. How safe are they? Natural ways to boost your energy. Thanks for coming out. I really oh, appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, so all the way here. from Salt Lake City. Yeah, Thanks so for you're, a, you're yeah. A, exactly. like a PhD in nutrition. PhD in nutrition, right? exactly. Yeah. And so I just did something here. What did I do? Right. So we, we we measured the level of antioxidants in your body. Okay. You know, when people are asking for more energy, mm -hmm. I like them to look at three things before they reach for one of those energy drinks, which can be dangerous in a lot of situations. Look at their sleep levels, their stress levels, and their nutrition levels. Okay. And this is a way we can measure their nutrition levels and give them a perspective for what they need to eat to okay. get them. Okay. Can I take so a I came out. It? You put your finger in there. Right in there. I came out with this green. What is this uh, green? Green is on the upper end of, of where you want. Be. So you're doing a good job. Okay. okay. I've had eight hours of sleep in the past two days, so we'll see. Oh, four hours so, each so lack of sleep, high stress levels can bring your score down. Okay. And what we really want to do is encourage people to eat right so mm -hmm. that they have natural energy and they don't need to reach for one of those energy drinks. Uh oh, you're right. Uh oh. You're a bad shape. You're lady. not the worst I've seen, but <laughs> and this, this orange is gonna clash Great. with that beautiful red dress. <laughs> So, so I'll here, wear it we, can, we, we, can, we can tell people, all right, you're orange, now we can have you eat a certain way. Okay, more what brightly do I colored need? fruits and vegetables, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. and we'll get you up to green. And green, we can get you up to blue, for example. Oh, it's because Rick be. had his banana today, and I didn't. <laughs> I just did have a banana about an hour ago. And so a higher, a higher score, a brighter color, is going to be more indicative of more antioxidants in your body, which is going to result in better energy levels. Okay, so what do we need to be eating every day that's going to give us the same boost as these dangerous energy drinks. Yeah, yeah, in other words, don't do do, do the drinks, do something. Right, don't do the drinks. Yeah. One, of the, one of the easiest ways to keep your energy level high and steady throughout the day is to eat small meals interspersed with small snacks. So you're mm -hmm. basically eating five or six or seven times a day. No big meals. Don't do what everybody does. Skip breakfast, skip lunch, and have mm -hmm. a big dinner. That's bad. That is the worst thing for your energy levels. Mm -hmm. They'll just plummet. Okay. What about uh, caffeine? Now, a lot of these energy drinks are loaded with caffeine, right? right? right. Some loaded. of them advertise that there's no ca calories, so it must be a lot of caffeine. Right, a lot of caffeine, sometimes a lot of sugar, but if mm -hmm. it's one of the low-cal ones, where you're getting is just a big dose of caffeine. And what you want to, you know, caffeine isn't all bad. You want to get a low dose of caffeine. If you do, you know, you have, you have low sleep, you have high stress, you have poor diet, and you do reach for one of those energy drinks just for a quick pickup, mm -hmm. look for something that has natural caffeine, maybe some <laughs> green tea or from yerba mate, which is a, which is a different kind of tea. Mm -hmm. um, look for natural sugars. You can look for slow sugars, which will hit your body in a very different way oh. for sustained mental energy instead of a hit like yeah. a sledgehammer of energy like those shots. And then you have like a, a sharp down. Right, right exactly, yeah. exactly. Caffeine stays in your body for about one hour, so you get a sharp up and then a sharp down, yeah. and sometimes that sharp down is really sharp. Okay, anything else? So yeah. how many cups of coffee is too much? You, you know, I like, people to, I like people to shut it off after about two cups. That's okay. Me. Two cups, that's what two, I do. Two cups because we then try. you get the benefits, but you don't get the detrimental effects. So how do we take advantage of your services? You can you can go to you can go to the website for this device, which is called the Monavi View. Mm -hmm. So people can go to monavi.com, find out all about how they can get a scan. We scanned about 200 people last night here in the Phoenix area and gave them an education about their nutrition and their antioxidants and their energy levels. So how are we doing over here in Phoenix? Are we above average, We're, average, or below average? You know, average? Phoenix is a pretty healthy city. You is know? That really? So yeah, That's it's good a good, to hear. It's a good place to come to be able to tell that message of health. Yeah. Thanks a lot, right, Doctor. Thanks. thanks for coming Thank you. Out. I'll yeah. try to eat my veggies and oh, fruit. All right. Yeah, I'm going to wear my green <laughs> proudly. badge proudly. <laughs> uh, Beth.